Life in the USA, Money in the U.S., read to you by Carol Brigham. All over the world, people use money to buy what they need. Each country has its own form of money. The money may be made of paper or metal. It may have pictures of politicians, famous people, plants, or animals on it. The money in some countries is very colorful. Other countries only use a little color on their money. Money has different values in each country. Money in the U.S. Money in the U.S. is either coins made of metal or bills printed on cotton and linen paper. The U.S. money system uses decimals. A penny equals one cent. A dollar equals 100 pennies or 100 cents. Coins. The U.S. has four main coins that people use every day. The smallest is the penny. It is worth one cent. The 16th president of the U.S., Abraham Lincoln, is on the penny. The next coin is the nickel. It is worth five cents. It is also equal to five pennies. Thomas Jefferson, the third president, is on the nickel. The next coin is the dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. It is equal to 10 pennies or two nickels. Franklin D. Roosevelt is on the front of the dime. Roosevelt was the 32nd president of the U.S. The last coin is the quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. It is equal to 25 pennies, two dimes, and a nickel, or five nickels. The first president of the U.S., George Washington, is on the front of the quarter. The U.S. also has half-dollar coins and dollar coins, but most people do not use them. People put these coins in their coin collections. Bills. There are six bills that people use in the U.S., the dollar bill is worth 100 cents. One dollar is written dollar sign one decimal zero zero. It is equal to 100 pennies, 10 dimes, 20 nickels, or four quarters. George Washington is on the front of the one dollar bill. The great seal of the United States is on the back. Abraham Lincoln is on the front of the five dollar bill. The Lincoln Memorial is printed on the back. Five dollars is written dollar sign five decimal zero zero. It is equal to five one dollar bills, five hundred pennies, fifty dimes, one hundred nickels, or twenty quarters. The ten dollar bill has a picture of Alexander Hamilton on the front. It has the U.S. Treasury Building on the back. Hamilton was not a president. He was the first U.S. Secretary of the Treasury. Ten dollars is written dollar sign ten decimal zero zero. The ten dollar bill is equal to two five dollar bills, ten one dollar bills, one thousand pennies, one hundred dimes, two hundred nickels, or forty quarters. Andrew Jackson is on the front of the $20 bill. The White House is on the back. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the U.S. $20 is written dollar sign 20 decimal zero zero. The $20 bill is equal to two $10 bills, four $5 bills, 20 $1 bills, 2,000 pennies, 200 dimes, 400 nickels, or 80 quarters. The $50 bill is next. $50 is written dollar sign 50 decimal zero zero. The $50 bill is equal to five $10 bills, 10 $5 bills, 50 $1 bills, 5,000 pennies, 500 dimes, 1,000 nickels, or 200 quarters. 
18th president, Ulysses S. Grant, is on the front of the $50 bill. The U.S. Capitol building is on the back. $50 bills are not as common as the other bills. The $100 bill is the largest amount being used now. Benjamin Franklin is on the front of the $100 bill. Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is on the back. Benjamin Franklin was not a U.S. president. He was a founding father, an important man in U.S. history. $100 is written dollar sign, 100, decimal, zero, zero. The $100 bill is equal to two $50 bills, 10 $10 bills, 20 $5 bills, 100 $1 bills, 10,000 pennies, 1,000 dimes, 2,000 nickels, or 400 quarters. Banks still have $2 bills, but people do not use these bills often. The U.S. used to have bills higher than the $100 bill. Today, those bills are not used to buy things. People have these bills in collections of old and rare money. Changes to money. New paper money is printed and new coins are made every day. Most of this money replaces money that is too old or damaged to use. Coins are changed often. New coin designs celebrate famous people and places in the U.S. There have been state quarters and national park quarters. From 2022 to 2025, new quarters will have important U.S. women on them. To help stop counterfeiters and criminals, the U.S. Treasury changes the design of the paper money. They change the pictures, add colors, and add extra security details. The Treasury is working on a design change now. New bills will come out between 2026 and 2034. These new bills will have raised details. The new bills will be helpful for people who are blind or have trouble seeing. They will be able to feel the raised details and know which bill they have. In 2016, President Barack Obama said that Andrew Jackson would be taken off the $20 bill. He said Harriet Tubman would be on the new $20 bills. Harriet Tubman will be the first African-American woman printed on a U.S. paper bill. These new bills will not be ready until 2030. Some people think this change is too slow, but the U.S. Treasury says this is how long it takes to make the bill secure. Talking about money. In the U.S., people use different words to mean money. It is good to know these slang terms. People will often call money cash or bucks. They may say, are you paying with cash? Or, did you bring any cash with you? They may answer, yes, I have a few bucks. People may also say, that costs 100 bucks. People also use food words to refer to money. Bread, bacon, cheddar, and clams are four common examples. People also call the $100 bill a Benjamin because of Benjamin Franklin. Happy fall, everyone. Thank you for choosing Easy English News. For more information about our subscriptions for both paper and digital, as well as the other supplemental materials for our newspaper, visit our website, easyenglishnews.com.